Last notation we want to talk about. Let's mathematicians be super lazy, so we really like it. Exponential notation. So, exponents provide a shorthand way of writing products. When things are being multiplied together, we can use exponential notation. So, an abbreviation for a product in which the factors are the exact same is called a power. An expression for a power is called exponential notation. We usually just call them exponents. Exponential notation. The marker's done. Come on. So, that first example, I have 8 times 8 times 8 times 8. How can we rewrite that? So, we have the same base. So we can write it as 8, and how many factors do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, raised to the 4th. So, in this example, the number 8 is called what of the exponential notation? That thing is called the base. There we go. Marker's finally behaving. And then the number 4 is the exponent. So we have the same base all being multiplied. And altogether, I have four factors of 8. So we can write, write, rewrite that as 8 to the 4th. So in that little box, exponential notation. For any natural number n greater than or equal to 2, we can rewrite b raised to the n as the multiplication. Or all of these b's, same base, being multiplied together. And I have n factors of them as b to the n. So instead of having to write out a whole bunch of multiplication, I really like that form. It tells me everything I need to know, everything that this said, but in a much more concise manner. So write exponential notation for 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. So we all have the same base, and it's all being multiplied. So we can rewrite that as what? 10 raised to the, how many factors do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 to the 5th. All right. Take yours. Write an exponential notation. 4 times 4 times 4 times 3 times 3. And again, you can only combine the ones that have the same base. So what did you get? I have 4, that's one of my bases, and I have 3 factors of those. And I'm multiplying it by my other base, and how many factors of 3 do I have? So sometimes you do still have to keep things separate. We can't combine these two together, even though we have multiplication because those bases are different. We need them all to be the same to be able to combine them. All right, how do we evaluate exponential expressions? So, 3 to the 4th. What does it look like in terms of multiplication? 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So you can evaluate multiplication in whatever order you want. Generally, we just move from left to right, or you can even work on little chunks. I like to work like this. So 3 times 3, that'll give me 9 when I multiply those together. And I've got another 3 times 3 over here, still being multiplied. So 3 to the 4th is really equivalent to what? 9 times 9, 81. So taken in parts when you're evaluating exponentials.